know you've won some origins, but it must feel pretty great to be in this GF, buddy. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a massive achievement, um, not just for myself, but uh, for the club. Um, the last time they won it was 2014, and um, I guess before that, it had been a long time um, since being in the grand final. So, um, like you said, 225 games. Um, I've also got a couple of wooden spoons to go with that. So, um, my first time in uh, in the grand final. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to take it all in, um, enjoy the week, and prepare the best I can to um, hopefully help us uh, try to get a win. You come a long way from Q Cup playing with Cody all those years ago. So. It's quite a story that you two lining up this weekend. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, uh, he's still, still the grumpy, 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 grumpy little man that I played with up there. So, um, but to be able to play alongside someone like Cody is um, very special. The things he's done this year um, have been incredible, and um, that's due to his competitiveness. And um, I always, um, it always surprised me that um, he, he debuted so late because. Like I said, I was fortunate enough to play along, so I uh, play against him in the Queensland Cup, and now we're playing in the grand final together. So um, it's a special moment for the both of us, but um, also the whole club and team. So. Hey, Dane, it's Ted from Wynn. A, um, you're known as a big game specialist, as we always see in Origin, but what about grand final, Gagai? We're going to see you go to another level. Oh, mate, I'll just be out there trying to do my job. Um, everyone, I guess, talks about the big games, but um, I guess the occasion, I guess, gets you up. But also the players around you um, make it, I guess, it's physically it's hard, um, but it's it's very simple. It's just do my job. Um, carry the ball as many times as I can to help out the boys in the middle so um, they can do their job in defence and, um, just work well as a unit. But I, I never, I guess, go into games thinking that I'm going to try and make this many line breaks, score this many tries. Just going into games just thinking, how, how can I help out my mate? And um, I think if we're all doing that, then we'll give ourselves a good chance. So um, ho hopefully I can get a couple of meat pies, but I won't be going and thinking about it. Yeah, nice. So what would it mean to you and, and your family back home in Mackay as well just for you to win this grand final? Yeah, I guess. Um, well, I was I was the biggest fan of my old man. He was my favourite player growing up. And um, speaking on Q Cup, he scored the first ever try um, in that competition. And um, he, he's been my favourite player growing up. So, and I, I think it's safe to say that goes both ways. He's um, probably one of my biggest um, supporters, and um, I always talk to him. He loves his footy, and I'll be getting advice uh, from him and. He never actually got to go on and, I guess, play first grade, but um, I hear stories that he definitely had the potential to, and to be able to win a grand final um, would just be not only special for myself, but for my family, the amount of sacrifice they've put in to, I guess, put me in a position where I can be doing this um, as a career and, um, I guess, get an opportunity to win one is, is all back to them, so... If I can do that this weekend, um, it'll be massive. Love it, mate. Are, are they all going to be there, Kieran Young? Um, no, so my parents are actually in Newcastle. They've been living there for the last couple of years. Um, I've got family um, up in Mackay still and in Townsville, and I've got a bit of family here in Brisbane. So um, they'll be cheering on from everywhere, and I know that every single one of them will be watching because we all love our rugby league. So um, I'll be doing everything I can to make them proud. Awesome. Good luck, mate. Hey, thank you very much. Gags, how much when you made the decision to come back, or sorry, go to South Sydney from Newcastle a few years ago now, how much of that was sending around just wanting to win a premiership? I remember that being a fair bit of the talk at the time. Yeah, um, I guess at the time they hadn't made the top eight, but I remember looking at the players, um, obviously, that they had. You had Sam Burgess, Greg Inglis, John Sutton, Adam Reynolds, um, Alex Johnson, who'd won a premiership, um, all these great players. But I mainly looked at the young guys that were coming through. And it was obviously a, a four-year deal at the time. So I knew I was going to be here for a while. And um, I looked at the players like um, Cam Murray, who had only played a couple of games at the time, and um, Campbell Graham. They were probably the two for me that I 
I looked at and thought these young fellas have just got this competitiveness that that I really like and um, that they're not just happy chucking on a jersey and wanting to be first graders, but they actually want to win and, um, I guess, represent the club the best way they can. And I guess that was a big draw for me to want to come to this club. And um, when we were able to go to a prelim in our first year, um, that was massive for us. But then, then back it up the next year um, was even more so. And I just kept seeing these guys developing and our team developing um, into something special. And um, yeah, we went to three prelims in a row and then um, the game on the weekend was our fourth and we've finally been able to get the opportunity to go to a grand final. And um, funnily enough, it's my last year at the club, but I haven't given it any thought. All I'm thinking that is this is my first ever grand final that I'm playing in and I'm going to be doing everything I can to make sure that, um, that the opportunity doesn't slip away. So, so you're not a kind of guy that's driven by the knowledge that this is what your last shot at winning one for Souths at least and um, knowing that it will be the last time you run out for, for Souths? Nah, mate, I haven't, I haven't thought about none of that whatsoever. I've, I guess the disappointment of um, the prelims previously and falling short of a grand finals, um, what was my biggest motivating factor to, I guess, want to get to one and... I guess now that we've gotten ourselves to one, um, it's, um, I guess, the old saying, the job's not done yet. Um, we've come up against the Panthers um, who have beaten us convincingly um, earlier in the year, um, beat us again before the finals, and and then we had another tight game and um, we won our finals. So um, I know the challenge us ahead, and um, if we're going to lift that shield, we're going to have to put in a full 80-minute performance because um, they're off the back of, I guess, going to a grand final last year and and losing that. So they're going to be um, fully motivated to, I guess, want to hold that shield up as well. So I'm not thinking about this is my last year or um, at the club or this is my first opportunity at a grand final. All I'm thinking is um, how can I be the best version of myself um, when it comes game time to not let the team down. What, what about the fact that it's your last week with Wayne? Like, I don't know, you say not thinking about all that kind of stuff, but it's really hard to think about your career without thinking about Wayne Bennett. Like, it's, it's entwined at so many different points, um, you and him. Yeah, to be honest, it's, it's not that hard. Um, I've been doing this for, for a long time now, and I know that if um, my mind's elsewhere, then I'll already be letting the boys down. And um, as a player, that's the last thing you want to do is um, not be able to look your mate in the eye that you haven't, um, I guess, done your job. So all my focus is purely on, like I've said before, is going into this game um, the best version of myself. And then um, once that 80 minutes is up, I'm, I'm sure that's when a lot of the reflection will happen and it will come. But um, until that whistle blows, um, yeah, I won't be thinking of none of that.